I turned 30 in October and I was fat throughout my 20s and I didn't want to be fat for my 30s. I wanted to be thin for 30. Um, I found that um, I was lacking in anything to do with exercise. So when I was younger, I went to army college. Um, I played rugby as a young girl and as a woman. And when I got injured and stopped playing, I just, just I piled on weight and I was doing nothing at all. And I just wanted to get back into that feeling of feeling fit and healthy. For the 10 weeks, um, I was in, in a rut. I was um, coming home from work, just having my tea and going to bed. And this was a great opportunity where I'd be able to get dietary advice and just get out of this rut that I was in of not getting anywhere very fast. Um, my first session I couldn't even sit on a spin bike let alone do a 45 minute session <laughs> but now I go twice a week at least in other classes. Over the last 10 weeks I've done PT sessions with um, a personal trainer, two of them, they're brilliant. I found out that I love doing weights. I've gone from doing nothing to doing something nearly every day. Um, at the end of the project we walked at Penavan. This was a challenge but it was so nice that the fact that all of us done it together as a team. There was no running off, there was no I can do this on my own. It was literally if you go I go and we all done it together. Once we got to the top, everybody was, the teamwork was fantastic. They didn't leave anybody behind. I've gone from a size 22 bordering on 24 to a 16. I've gone from a size 18 to a 12. Now I've lost just over a stone in weight. Um, and the biggest change for me is I've lost nearly eight inches from around my stomach. Um, I've um, lost, well, nearly one and a half stone now. I lost one stone during that 10 weeks. So since um, the 10 weeks I have signed up to the Cardiff Half Marathon because um, I felt that it showed throughout the 10 weeks that I really can do something that I put my mind to. Um, I've also signed up for the Mick Morris as well in September. Back in Easter holidays we went up to North Wales and we climbed Snowdon together as a family and I felt great I've got to say I didn't feel out of breath, my legs felt strong, I just felt a bit tired by the end of the day. Um, I'd like to thank Bridie for first of all giving us the opportunity, um, Matt and Ray for all their hard work and pouring up with us, we don't, we're not easy, and um, Harriet for helping me walk the pen of Anne. Um, I wasn't very well but she stuck by me through the whole thing. So yeah, thanks guys. Um, without all of your support and encouragement, I would never have got this far. Thank you. And life's too short to not give it a go and, and to just go for it just a hundred percent as best as you can. Just a message to anybody who really wants to do something or would like to do something but doesn't have the courage to do so, apply for If You Go I Go. If you want to achieve something then this is the group that you can do it with and there's nothing, there's nothing that can stop you when you've got the group of people that you have behind you here.